right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link wherever you can in your social network. And don't forget to download the videos after we finish, as always. Today, our topic is Ramadan. Ramadan, supposedly, you know, we hear many presidents like in USA and Europe, etc., uh, speaking to Muslims, uh, you know, being politically correct about Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan, first of all, is not really what people they present. And in what they say, it's not true. So today we are going to talk about what this month of Ramadan is about and what is the problems that come with it. Uh, there is tons of articles written by Muslims about the month of Ramadan. And all those articles speaking about risk and danger of the month of Ramadan. Why do you put on weight during Ramadan? Now, why somebody, like, he's fasting, he put weight on Ramadan? This is the good question, is it? I mean, how you are fasting, but you end, you gain a lot of weight at the end of the month. I thought you should lose weight. In fact, no. Because the month of Ramadan is not the month of fasting, it is the month of eating more. Actually, if we go and do a little search right now in Google, and I will do it right away in the front of you, you will find that price of food in Ramadan goes sky rocking. Food price, Ramadan, I will type in Google. All right. And right away you will see here in the front of you, Food price surged during Ramadan. Okay, why? Why basic food are rising, uh, prices are rising in Ramadan, IAAS Indonesia? And the answer is very simple. They are eating like crazy. They are not fasting. You see, every market is about high demand and low demand. Like even if you want to go to a hotel, if you go, there is a high season and low season. A low season, you can get a room for a very cheap price because nobody is there. They are desperately looking for a customer. Same for, for, for gas price. If nobody buy gas, the, price, the gas will be for free. Nobody will buy it. So here, because people are eating more, I mean, the same people are exist. We like, would it not have a, suddenly 10 million people increase the number and population of that city? So why the, the, the price of food go crazy? Because they are not fasting, they are eating more. This is the month of eating like crazy, not the month of fasting. So what is Ramadan exactly? You go and you keep eating, you know, like uh, when the sun rise, you stop eating or drinking. Then when the sun set, you start eating like an elephant. So what they do, they switch the day and the night. Like, I mean, so, so where, where is the fasting? Before you used to eat it during daytime and sleep at night. Now you sleep at, uh, you eat at night time and you sleep at the day. In the month of Ramadan, all Islamic countries are dead. There's no jobs. There's no work. So the month of Ramadan is not the month of fasting. It's a fake fasting. It is the opposite. And this is why you see Muslims writing articles about why you gain weight. Now, what else? What about heart attack in Ramadan? Heart attack increase, skyrocketing in Ramadan. Anyone knows why? Why will people die more in Ramadan? I mean, what happened? The answer is very simple. They fast during the day, and they win the hour to eat, supposedly. They eat like elephants. So if your body cannot, uh, not, not used to handle all this big, huge meal you ate suddenly, you might have a heart attack. Uh, and a lot of people, they uh, uh, actually, they, they like generate disease during Ramadan because you are doing something not right to your body. The fasting, the fasting, the way the fasting is done, it's very funny, it's very weird. And this is proving to us that this is all is a, is a pagan practice which Muhammad, he took. There is no way that God, who supposedly is Allah, he do not know that uh, Ramadan will cause you a heart attack. There is no way that he do not know that that will increase your weight. All right? Now, what about violence? 
violence in Ramadan is skyrocketing too. Hmm? Violence in Ramadan. Ramadan is the holy month of violence, not the holy month of fasting. How many attack Muhammad he did in Ramadan? If you remember when the when the Muslims attack uh, Israel, uh, they attack it from every corner. Many many countries they join together and they attack it in the war in the time of Ramadan. The Israeli they thought okay Muslims now are fasting they are not going to go in war but the Muslims they have a long history of attacking their enemies in Ramadan, and actually. Muslims, they believe that if you die in Ramadan, you are like double hero and double murder for Allah. Uh, it's fake news by a Christian journal? No, this is not fake news. You can go. What this have to do with fake? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. This is fake news, guys. Okay. What is, so if I show you now from Muslim website, what you will do? The one who is saying this is fake news. If we show it to you from Muslim website, are you going to say it's fake news too? Huh? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. All right, we search in. Okay. <clears throat> this is Al Arabi. This is Al Arabi, Islamic newspaper. Is the Yad al Umfi fi Shahri Ramadan. The increase of violence in the month of Ramadan. All right. This is a Christian newspaper. Huh? Al Huka Net. This is a very well known Islamic, uh, you know, like Mujahideen, they join it. Al Umf fi Ramadan. Or Zahirat al Umf. Let us see. Let us see more. The, the security of the city of Baghdad, this is the, the title here, they, uh, they is uh, ex, like uh, preparing themselves for the skyrocketing of violence during the month of Ramadan in Baghdad. All right? I mean, it's all over around you. But all of this is a Christian news, isn't it? Hmm? I mean, obviously, it's a Christian news. Those are Christians. They are, they are, uh, they are Iraqi government uh, Christian. Must be yeah. Iraq suddenly became run by the Christians. Look what it says. Actually, let me see if I can uh, translate this uh, website. I I guess I have to open it in uh, in Google browser. Hold on. So people they can see what is written there in English. Okay. Baghdad security predict higher rates of violence in the capital during Ramadan. <laughs> and this is an Islamic. Uh, so Muslims they knew everybody knows you know that this is what Ramadan bring. Ramadan bring violence. Not only violence, uh, terrorism, violence, family violence, uh, violence between the neighbors. Uh, people they supposedly because they are they claim they are fasting so don't talk to me I'm fasting now and suddenly he got angry and he is so and became violence I'm fasting I cannot handle this you know because this is one of the signs of hypocrites you see when uh, when I was a kid uh, you know like sometime Muslim kid he come to my house I go to his house we are kids so you know we went in the house of this kid 
you know, we are in the same class. And it was Ramadan. So we ate cookies, we ate, etc. You know, I mean, we had fun. We were kids. And then now we want to go out. He said, wait, 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 wait. I said, what? He went to the kitchen and he grabbed some salt, put it in his hand. And then he did with his uh, lips and he put the salt on his lips. And I was talking to him, says so like, what are you doing? You look funny. What is that? He's, he cannot talk because if he talk, the, the salt will fall down from his lips. And then later told me that all his family, they do that before they leave. They eat during Ramadan and they, they put the salt so they can make their lips dry because the salt will suck all the the uh, the witness of uh, your lips will make it dry as if you are fasting so he said i learned that from my dad and my mom and all of them so like now we ate we don't know we should not tell people that we are you know we are kids he's telling me he's being honest we should not tell people that we are not uh, fasting so we put salt he said do you want some i said no i'm i don't care for this you know i'm a christian so uh, this is what ramadan is about This is what Ramadan is about. Nobody is fasting. It's a it's a lie. It's a joke. And if you fast, you you gain weight because you are eating more, and the price of food go crazy. Now, but what is Ramadan? What is Ramadan? Who is a Muslim when I tell us what is Ramadan? Who is a Muslim even know what is Ramadan and why Ramadan became a month of fasting? Anyone knows? If there is any Muhammadan knows? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me life and he can explain to us what is Ramadan? Eh. Muhammad, he was trying, I mean, uh, all religion around him, they have, uh, they have fasting, Muhammad don't. So Muhammad, he wanted to have fasting too. I mean, what, what kind of a prophet he don't have fasting? The Christian have fasting, the Christians have 90 days fasting. Not through 30 days. One before the Easter and one before the Christmas. The Easter is 50 days. So what this Ramadan is about? Nothing. Muhammad was just trying to copy what other religions have. And he is desperately trying to establish a religion. You know how there is no way he will not have Ramadan, have a fasting month. I mean, the Jews they have, the Christians they have, even the Hindus they have. And the beautiful thing about Ramadan, you enter Ramadan and you have no stomach. You exit Ramadan and you are going to deliver a baby as if it's nine months old. Hmm? What is Ramadan? Who want to tell me what is Ramadan? Just to show you that Muhammad is a fake prophet and he don't have anything. He don't have a religion. This guy, he's just trying to collect beliefs from around him. We mentioned before that Muhammad suddenly he starts celebrating a fasting called the Ashura. Ashura. And even Muhammad he said that the one who fast Ashura, Allah forgive one year of sin for him. Here we go. I mean, look at that. Here, here how you know a false prophet. Imagine I am a prophet and say to you, oh, if you fast this day, all the sin you did for a year, brother, is gone. What does that mean? So I'm going to go and rape and kill and uh, do adultery and do sell drugs and blah, 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 blah. And then I fast Ashura that day. I did not eat for eight hours and that my sin is forgiving. Isn't it obvious that this is a guy who is making fun of us? Is that how easy to forgive sin in Islam? Okay, guys, I'm not going to eat my sandwiches until sunset today. And I have good news for you. All the sin I did last year is gone, brother. Because I did not eat my sandwich, brother. This is a prophet of God. It is any Muslim can tell us how fasting a day, it's not even a week, how fasting a day will make my sin disappear for the last year or the coming year. Any Muhammad, and he have an idea.
may not have an idea because this is a man who is fabricating things how he want to make those men he want to establish a, a fasting and look how he established the fasting if we go to different hadith first Aisha she claimed that this is a fasting of the uh, the, the the pagans this is what Aisha is saying read with me during the pre-islamic uh, period uh, they call it the period of ignorance the fact the Arab before Islam they are not ignorant the Arab after Islam became ignorant they think the earth is a flat and flying carpets and you know and the sperm coming from the backbone uh, by the way guys my backbone is hurting me because yesterday I went to them to the hospital Alhamdulillah and I donated a lot of a sperm from my backbone they put a tube in my backbone brother and they got a lot of a sperm from me this is the only God who claimed that sperm coming from a backbone is Allah. I mean, and yet they call people ignorant. Before Islam, people are ignorant. You are right. Okay. And women, she have a sperm coming from her nipples. Uh, sorry, not nipples. The location of the necklace. I wish it's in the nipples. I mean, it make even make more sense if it's nipples. You know, there is something come from there sometime, right? But from the location of the necklace, I mean, come on, Allah. I mean, Allah, come on. I mean, stop the drugs you are taking, man. Obviously, it's made in China, like maybe the zombie one. Now, here, look with me. During the pre-Islamic period of ignorance, yeah, right. Quraysh used to observe the fasting on the day of Ashura. Okay, we just saw Muhammad saying, if you fast Ashura, Allah forgive you, brother, uh, the sin to come, the, the year, uh, sin to come. Okay, why? Who is a Muslim? I tell me. And then Muhammad, he come with Ramadan, and then this day is not important no more. What happened? I mean, have you ever heard of a religion like this? This day can forgive your sin in the past or in the in the, in the year to come. And then we bring another uh, fasting, and then the, the first fasting is gone. It's a, it's a garbage. It's not important no more. What happened to Ashura now? Anyone knows? Any Abdul? Who is a Mohammedan would like to call me live on uh, on Pal Talk? I will open my Pal Talk for you. And uh, what do you say? Allah sent His light. Uh, yeah, Allah He sent His light always, my friend. I remember in the Middle East how Allah He sent the light for us. I mean, beloved. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have electricity, but Allah He sent His light. And this is why I know somebody he fell in the hole in the street, the stupid city. They made a hole to fix the sewage, and as usual, they never close it. And the poor guy he fell down, he broke all his teeth like Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, because Allah has sent his lights. Hmm. I mean, Allah is full of lights. Don't tell me about it. And as long as you are talking about, about Allah sending his lights, uh, as I remember, Allah doesn't send lights, Allah he sent missiles to shoot the shaitan in his ass. Is that true? That's just what the Quran says. If we go in the Quran, this is why if you check the ass of the sh shaitan, by now it must be red like a shapanzi. Uh, here the Quran says, all right, وَلَقَدْ زَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَصَابِيحَ وَجَعَلْنَاهَ رُجُومًا لِلشَّيَاطِينَ Translation, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Okay, Abdul is going to help us now to understand this amazing, a beautiful light is coming from Allah. And we have, for, uh, uh, for, from of old, adorned the lowest heaven with lambs. And we have made such a lambs as missiles. You must, you, you Western, you say you are the first one who created missiles? Come on. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. Allah have missiles long before you. And he, but the message of Allah is different. He do it, shoot the shaitan if he try to get a close from the sky. And by the way, this is a true story. Because I remember once, I, uh, you know, I was watching the sky and there is a shaitan which I know very closely because, you know, he used to teach us Islam in the school. He wanted to go to the heaven and right away when he climbed the ladder, right away Allah like Star Wars in the games brother 
and shaitan he went down from the ladder of all fast and he, his, his pant was burning I told him why your pant is burning he said because I think I farted and somebody was smoking a cigarette behind me because as you know farting is a flammable what light of Allah this is God God is telling us that he shoot shaitan if he try and by the way shaitan he tried to do what uh, any uh, do you know what shaitan is trying to do to why Allah is shooting him let me show you in different hadith unbelievable I mean the Quran is a book of wisdom there's no question there's, there's no fairy tale stories stupid stories hmm? I mean, this is all proven scientifically. Chapter 15, verse number 18. Actually, let us read here from the beginning. It is we who had set out the zodiacal signs in the heavens, and we made them fair seem to all beholders. And we have guarded them from every cursed devil. But, but any that gains hearing by stealth is pursued by flaming fire. What the heck? Shaitan is trying to spy at Allah? I thought only the Russian did do that. Shaitan! Aman Rabbi Aman Aman Erdogan Shaitan brother is it trying to spy at Allah but don't worry don't worry be happy if Shaitan spy at you Allah will protect you and he will shoot his ass by missiles don't worry be happy I mean that's so good I mean this is so good to be true I love it I love it actually this is what make me very much attracted to Islam and the Muslim they say there's like there's a, like a 1 billion uh, video on YouTube talking about science in the Quran I mean this is science hey Abdul how you can shoot how you can shoot a genie or shaitan who live in this earth by a star without destroying the earth I mean do you know how big the star is let me tell you how big the star I have here a TV which is like uh, uh, let us say uh, 40 inch I think okay I think star is bigger a star Allah he shoot so Muhammad he, he saw those shooting stars he thought those are lamps really star stars so Muhammad was looking at the stars. He said, Amman, Rabbi Amman, Allah is shooting shaitan. Shaitan, Allah is shooting shaitan. And he made a verse and he told us that Allah is shooting shaitan because he's trying to spy at Allah. Somebody saying that the earth is a flat according to the Bible. This is a big fat lie. Show me. Silence me. Answer me. There's nowhere in the Bible that says that. You will say to me, it says the four corner of the earth. <laughs> this is a figure of speech we use until now, you idiot. But in the Quran, it says, Allah is saying that we made the earth carpet. Even this is your Muslim translation. Hmm? And not only that, we set in the top of it mountains, which is very stupid because mountains are not set in the top of the earth. <laughs> Look what happened. Guys, Allah, he's explained to us how he made the earth. The earth is a flat, but like a sheet. And maybe the wind will, because why? Because, you know, uh, if we go to the front verse, it's explained why. Uh, because the earth is going to move. The, the wind will move it. So Allah, he put the mountains in the top of the earth, so the earth will not uh, move. Let us see, hold on. Uh... I mean, Allah is so smart, brother. By the way, all my all the science I learned in my life, it's uh, from the Quran. You know? Yeah. Chapter 21, verse number 31 says, so look, look, brother, look. And we have set on the earth mountains 
standing firm, lest it should shake with them. <laughs> hey, brother, the most popular place for earthquake is Japan, and Japan is full of mountains. So the mountain did not stop the, the earth from shaking. Actually, they have mountains there because the earth is shaking, not the opposite. Actually, uh, there is a bunch of Arab from my country. As you know, I'm an Arab. I'm proud to be an Arab, brother. Uh, he's here, you know, like a bunch of them, they are very lazy. And they heard about Japan that there is more than a 1,000 earthquake. And those, they are lazy. You know, they are lazy, really lazy. And they don't want to do anything. And their wives, they want to have sex. So they get an idea to go and move to Japan so they can have uh, do sex without moving. I mean, the earthquake would do it. 1,000 earthquake. I mean, come on. That's it. Allah answer our prayer. Now, do we have any Abdul here when I say something? Hmm? Any anyone? It is my own translation. No, this is not my own translation. This is Quran. Look at the website name, guys. Quran, the, uh, Quran. Wow. <laughs> I mean, this is wow. I have to agree. And look here. By the way, do you know that the Muslim they say that the Big Bang is in the Quran? Here we go. The Big Bang is here. Uh, by the way, the, the Big Bang is. I mean, Big Bang, Big Bang. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the bang come to you? I mean, this is. Don't the unbelievers see? that the heaven and the earth were joined together as a one unit of a creation between two brackets before we glove them asunder Ooh. me this is the big bang abdul the big bang it says that there was something explode here it says that the heaven and the earth they will exist but they are in stitched together <laughs> so uh, how to explain this uh, you know how to explain this in different verse in the Quran it says that Allah he left the sky up see so the smart author of the Quran believe that the sky was on the earth and Allah he left it up but the Muslim they try to make it about a big bang big bang eh? mm. must be a true story now do we have any Muslim wanna share with us about his uh, religion the big bang and those crazy stuff any uh, Mohammedan Huh? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim? He have a courage and knowledge. Uh, the one who call himself Jesus, uh, you have to change your name in order to be in order to be in our form. Change your name and you are welcome. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Huh? Anyone? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Did I say boys? Uh oh. I should not mention that. Do you know that the Quran, the God of Allah, the Muslims, He promised the Muslims extra boys in Ramadan? Me. Boys? Boys, hmm. what an interesting religion. 
If Fahim saying those are reward from Allah, Allah reward you boys, <laughs> and they are white. <laughs> they are so white. Why they are so white, Fahim? Do you like white boys? Be honest, Fahim. You, you, you know, you look like you, you like things like your prophet, don't you? Why your God, he promised you little boys who will be in your bedroom? 80,000 little boy. Why? Anyone? Hello? 80,000 only? I mean, I'm so disappointed. I mean, why the number is so low? Only 80,000? Yeah, Abdul, hold on. If you, uh, in the heaven, you will never have uh, take a shower uh, your food need to not do not need to be cooked uh, your clothes will never be ruined uh, you never sweat you never get dirty uh, no no dish washing so what the boys for any Mohammedan can tell us what those boys do anyone <laughs> seriously Seriously, seriously, what those boys do in the heaven, uh, brother? The lowest, the lowest reward for a Muhammadan in the heaven of Allah. The lowest. This is not the best. I mean, this is a guy, he is just a sahada. Just say sahada, you will get this, brother. Is in the position to get the following reward. 80,000 servants. Let me call Zakir Naik so he can explain to us what's happening here. You know, should we call Zakir Naik, guys, or it's late now? Do you think he is? I hope I will not bother him. I did not call him for long, actually. I mean, I'm trying really to not to, because he might face face an arrest for for a money laundry and etc. Let us call him in his cell phone because you know we are friends. You know, he called me. You know, we call always each other to organize terrorism. Is not answering this phone. I oh, hold on. I have the other phone, the phone of his for, fourth wife. Hmm. I think they are having zigs. Hello, uh, Assalamu alaikum, brother. I have a question, brother. Christian Prince, I told you one at a time. Don't call me in the middle of the night. Uh, brother, I have so important question and people they are desperately looking for an answer and there's no one in this world He can answer you or answer it, please. I Will give you today an exception and promise me you will never call me again. Uh, I Cannot promise you that. Sorry. Okay, what's the question? I'm very tempted now. I want to know the question as I can like I changed my mind I'm not going to give you the question. I told you give me the question. Otherwise, I'm going to report you to the police uh, Zakir Naik, why you are involved in the police? I changed my mind. Go to sleep. I cannot now. I want to know the question. I cannot take it. I am being tempted now by code of you. Give me the question. Okay, uh, Zakir Naik, why if you go to the hadith that says that the lowest Muslim in heaven, he will get 80,000 little boys? What the purpose of those 80,000? First of all, the hadith you are quoting me is not accurate. It is 80,001. Uh, it's, it's what? It's 80,001 boy. Uh, why it is 80,001 boy? I don't ask me question. This is what I said, and this is the accurate number. Okay, so why now I will get 80,001 boy? And what is their job in there? Other example, don't you have hair in your nose? I have hair in my nose. Exactly. So you in the heaven, you will be 90 miles 90 mile tall. And that needs a lot of care. And that means there are little boys are going to climb over you. One, he take care of the hair of your nose. And the other one, he says your mustache. And the other one, he comes your hair. They will climb over you like ants. I like ants, mashallah. That's a very good answer, Zach and Zach and do you want to add something? 
I want to add something. First of all, this is the lowest reward for the lowest Muslim. Which means a Muslim like me, I will get like 8 million boys. And I know you are jealous because in this Christianity, you don't have boys. Uh, well, Zakir, I have to agree. I mean, we don't have in Christianity boys. And, uh, and you don't have women. In the heaven, Allah will give us very beautiful women. Even we can see through their bones because they are very white and they are very sexy. And you know, I am sexy and I know it. And don't call me again. Thank you very much. What is that? This is a prophet of God. 80,000. What do you want to do with 80,000? Two little, three, four boys in a house, they will drive you crazy. You will have 80,000 little boys in your house. Hmm. I'm really convinced. Any Muslim? Earth, Earth is a flat in the Bible in Isaiah. That's false. You see, when a Muslim he talk about something, we laugh. Pause the verse, so everybody will laugh at you. <laughs> Isn't it the same book, you Muslim, you say the name of the prophet appear there? <laughs> Prophecy about him? Uh, any Abdul? I uh, remember in this verse when we uh, we spoke with, uh, with his name, the ex-Muslim, he said to me, the circle, the earth is circle, is, uh, is the earth, uh, the, the circle is a flat. <laughs> Unbelievable, they're funny, they're cute. So, do we have any Abdul here? Anyone? Who is a Muslim want to tell us what is the point of this Ramadan? And we go to Ramadan. So, Muhammad he fasted to Ramadan. Why he fasted, uh, fasted Ashura first? Anyone, any Muslim knows why he fasted Ashura? Any Muslim knows why your prophet he fast Ashura. Hello. You know what? I think Mr. Bean he had better answer than you all of the Muslim scholars. I mean, those Muslim scholars. What the Quran says about Muslim scholars? Hey, do you know? The Quran says you are a scholar if you say I believe. I mean, have you ever heard of a scholar like this? Hmm? That's what the Quran says. Let me show you. You say you I believe you became a scholar? That's it? Yes, brother. The Quran says so. Read it. Hmm? And the Quran says no one knows what the Quran means, save Allah. <laughs> Unbelievable, I love it. Hey, by the way, guys, don't ask me any question about my books because nobody knows what I wrote in my book, save Allah. Oh, there's no screen? Oh, sorry for that. I think Zakir Naik, he took my screen. Do you see it? No one knows. Nobody. Nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody knows, nobody, mm, nobody, nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, nobody knows, nobody knows, leave your nose, everybody, come on, nobody knows, this is the Quran, Allah in the Quran, saying nobody knows what the Quran means, save Allah, I mean, that's so good to be true, that's very complicated, brother. Allah in the Quran says nobody knows what the Quran means save Allah. So what is Ibn Kathir for? And what this book is for? Check my audio. What's wrong with my audio? Guys, is my audio good? Nothing wrong with my audio. It's good.
אין יא אבדול? You are doing this for the money? No money. No money, no, no money, no, no money, no, no money, no money. No money, no, no money, no. I mean, look who's a talking. Isn't it your prophet, he said? If you want to see me, you have to pay me. Well, here we go. You are here for free. Are you, are you, are you paying to join this program, Abdul? Abdul. Hmm? Here we go. Before you meet the prophet, brother, if you want to speak to him in private, you have to pay him first. Is that true, brother? Where is the Abdul? This is your Quran, chapter 58, verse number 12. Hey, brothers and sisters, uh, my name is the Prophet Muhammad, and before you talk to me, you have to pay me. Because it's in the private consultation. Why? He is a corporation. Hello? You can talk to me, you don't pay. Here we go, all of you here are for free. Hmm? Muhammad, he said clearly before you talk, and who, Muhammad don't like money. It's Allah who said that. Listen, listen, listen. Muhammad, he hate money. What are you talking about? Before you meet the Prophet, Allah said, it's not the Prophet. I will put a sign in the front of my door. Uh, no, no, I will put it in the sky. Before you call me, pay me. Allah told me, before you talk to me, you have to pay me. Then yeah, Abdul have uh, how you talk about money? All your religion is about money. Even jihad is about money. Isn't it? Now we go back <coughs> to our topic. Who is a Muhammad and wanna tell us why Muhammad did fast Ashura? I mean why why, why this question is so hard? Yeah, Muhammad, no, private consultation. I will explain to you. Somebody is asking why Muhammad, you come to him in private consultation. Okay, I will give you an example. A woman, she saw a horny dream. And she was uh, like, you know. <coughs> I, I, I finished the story because all of it was like this. You know, I can't tell you the details. So this woman, she saw. <coughs> I think you get the idea, right? Do you want me to cut to cuff more to explain it more? Are you are you asking me to cuff more so you can understand what the story is? I cannot cuff more. I'm hurting my. Uh, look what happened. I will give you an example of a private consultation. Uh, uh. Let us see. Hmm. All right. All those actually about the same, but I will give you. Here we go. Her mother, Umm Salim, said, Umm Salim, come to the Prophet. And ask him about a woman who sees in her dream something like the man sees. What is that exactly? What a man see in his dream? I am very like I don't know what she is talking about. Somebody can help me. This is a private consultation. The woman she come to the prophet and she said to him, Prophet, yesterday I have a very wet dream. Extremely weighted dream. Hot. Mamma mia. She did, but to be honest with you, she did not say Mamma mia. I'm adding that because the Muslim later they will say, see, Christian prince is fabricating hadith. The woman, she did not say Mamma mia. 
We have to be honest here. A woman, she is coming to the prophet and she told him that she was touching herself. This is the private consultation. And she saw a liquid in her, uh, what the word? Virginia? Excuse my English. It's not. Let me say it to you in Chinese and you translate. I think this is like private part. So she saw in her her private part, which means in Chinese, and now she need to have an answer. I mean, you cannot get away from such a problem. Hello? So she came to the prophet, and this is the private consultation which you have to pay for. Not for nothing for free. Hello? This is a private consultation. <clears throat> any, uh, any, uh, any, uh, any, uh, any, uh, 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 I mean, what, why, why this happened to her vagina? Why, why this happened to her vagina? Muslims, why this happened to her? And look, the wife of Muhammad, she said to her husband, what? The women, she have that. She have orgasm. The wife of Muhammad, she never have orgasm. Prophet, he said to his wife, looking at her like, you idiot. Yes, it does happen. Look, 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 look here. I mean, this story is very exciting, by the way. Upon this, Allah Apostle, uh, like here, in the case of women sees that, she must take a bath. Umm Salim said, I was beastful on the account of that. And I said, does this happen? In different hadith, it says the wife of the prophet. Does this happen? Upon this, the apostle said, yes, it does. Yes. Otherwise, how can the child resemble her? Like, hello? So Muhammad claimed that the liquid you see in the vagina is the reason for your child to resemble you. Uh, John, guys, John, he gave me $25 because my Chinese is so good. Okay, John, I'm going to make you bankrupt today. I'm going to repeat the same sentence until tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, brother, the prophet, he said to the women, yes, the women have orgasm. Otherwise, how the child resemble the mother? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So the child resembled the mother because uh, the women had the orgasm. In different hadith, the prophet, he explained it even better and things getting more, <laughs> more hilarious. Unbelievable. Here, you see Muhammad is getting more in details. Look at this science. The messenger of Allah said, the man's water is thick and white, and the women's water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. That's knowledge. That is beyond my Chinese. Ab above my rank of payment. I cannot, I cannot thank you enough, Prophet. Because now I can get married finally. I was worried always if I marry a woman and then my child will resemble me, which is disgusting. But now I know what the trick. I will let her have orgasm first and the child will resemble the mother. If, 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 if. That's so deep, man. That is science. And now all of you ugly guys like me, we knew what happened in the bedroom of your mother and your father. Go to your father. If you look like him, tell him, hey, but, hey, hey, daddy, I know what you did in that night. He says, what? He says, you have orgasm first. He says, son, respect yourself. Don't talk like to me like this. He said, brother, this is science now. You came first. That's why I look like you. Wow. That's so deep. And this is so good to be true.
Anyone? <clears throat> hmm? Hello? Hello? It's me who looking for. I promise you, if you marry me, I will come for <laughs> the one who comes first. That's so good to be true. And this is Sahih. How the Prophet knew this? Allah told him. Allah told him, brother. That's so deep. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to say something? So now we go to the topic. Why the Prophet of Allah, he fasted Ramadan? Why he did fast Ramadan? You are an Arab, why you hate Islam or Arab Muslims, brother? The question is, why Islam hate me? Before you ask me such a stupid question, Do you know what the Quran says about the Christian? The worst of the creatures, the evil doer, the monkeys, the donkeys, the nudges, the filthy, the kuffar, uh, you know, and you are telling me why, uh, and kill the Christians, kill the Jews, and now you are blaming me? I mean, look at the Muslims, you know, he, uh, uh, they, they believe in the religion, believe in killing us as a Christian, and then they say to us, why you don't like Islam, huh? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You are very rude. Look, look what Muhammad. Look the nice Muhammad. By the way, the Muslim they say Muhammad, he have the best ethic. Let me teach you some ethic, brother. Hmm. I will teach you an ethic. You can practice it, brother. Do you see the ethic? I mean, this is ethic. If you meet a Christian or a Jew in the street, spit in his face, and don't greet him with salamu alaikum, and not only that, you have to force him to walk in the sewage. In the old day, the sewage tunnel like is in the side of the road. It's like an open, uh, like a low a running water in the dirty water of the houses go. And this is where a Christian should walk. Christians are not allowed to walk in the street if a Muslim is walking in it. I mean, this is ethic. This is the ethic of the month of Ramadan and the founder of Islam. And you are telling me Islam is not a good religion. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? And guys, why we have only 482 like? Only? mean you guys you pay for the cable uh, a lot of money for a stupid show they say nothing you open the news they say to you a prince harry booter his wife megalan she gave a birth to a boy i mean this is in the news now this is what the world is uh... the prince his highness he went to the delivery room he went where the delivery room uh, this is the news. I mean, you see the news? Uh, I went to the bathroom today. Nobody talk about it. Hello? This is the news. And we see like those presidents like Trump and his wife, they say greeting for Ramadan. Ramadan is the month where do suicide bombing and killing and terrorism. And here we go. They start attacking Christian villages in Syria in the first day of Ramadan. Do we have any Abdul? Hello? This is weak hadith? Huh? Really? This is Sahih Muslim. <laughs> this is Sahih hadith, brother. What we will do now? 
<laughs> I mean, the name of the book is Sahih, but the hadith is weak. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey brother, I decided to hire you to the, me the Ministry of Tourism in Somalia. Because there is no tourists go there. Uh, perfect job for you. Do we have any Abdul? By the way, I wanted to go live and aired yesterday, but I look at the previous video. We don't even have 12,000. So you guys, you're not helping. If you want me to go and do again a video a second day, I will. I will come the same day three times, you know. Uh, but uh, you are not helping for 12,000 after three days of posting the video. You are not encouraging me. They are eating now? Yeah, they are in the night club. What eating? You see, in the month of Ramadan, if you go to Thailand, to Philippines, to any, you know, you will see all the employees in Saudi Arabia or in Philippines or in Thailand. This is the month of prostitution. Everybody know that. Long beard walking in the street in Thailand. I remember once I was in the Philippines and there was a guy, a Saudi, he had like a people with him. And you can tell the girls are hookers. Their, their, their skirt, I think it was like shorter than my little finger. I mean, very long skirt. And he have whiskey, he have all the drinking in the table. And then when the waitress, she came, he said to her, do you have halal food? I mean, look how decent he is. He have hookers in the table, he have whiskey and beer, and now he want to eat halal food. I mean, look, we are conservative. We have, to, we have to be sure that this is halal food. Hmm. All right, Musa, feel free to translate, my friend. Do we have any Abdul? Is that the ethic of the Prophet? Is that the ethic of your prophet? Why you are asking any Abdul to call? Call ultimate one in Pal Talk. Ultimate one, this guy is an idiot. How many times we get him busted, this guy? How many videos we have of ultimate fart? <laughs> okay, I will make you happy and I will call ultimate fart just for you. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, let's open pal talk. Ultimate fart, are you there? Text me, text me, ultimate fart. I don't see him there. Somebody send me a beer. In Pal Talk now they can send a beer. <laughs> okay. I see many texts in this. Uh, pal talk, but none of it is important. Advertising. Ta -ta 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 Hello, Christian Prince. I introduce myself. I'm from Indonesia. I just want to make a friend with you, if you don't mind. Well, my friend, you can be my friend, no problem, but there's no need to text me. Now, where is the, where is the ultimate fault? You told me he's going to talk to me. 
where is ultimate for? What happened? Like we open pal talk and there's no ultimate for there. Any Muhammadan? <coughs> Anyone? Who is a Muslim is so happy about his religion and he can tell us why Muhammad was farting, farting, I mean, fasting, sorry, fasting, fasting Ashura. Excuse my English skills. Any Muhammad knows why Muhammad was fasting in Ashura? Who knows why? Why? What is that? What this is Ashura? Huh? What is this? And where? Who did Allah told him to fast Ashura? What is the source of this Ashura stuff? My friend, my friend, he can text me. He can text me. Here we go. My my pal talk is open. This guy, ultimate, whatever his name. I mean, we, we don't have time for kids. Okay, uh, text me. Uh, I have actually, I see, like, let me add him, okay. Uh, is currently, uh, ultimate fart is currently not online. Here we go. He keep asking me to call him, to call him, to call him. And now ultimate fart is not online. What I will do now? And he's stupid. This is the guy who called me once and says, uh, ZV, <laughs> the Muslim scholars are liars. <laughs> I agree. I mean, what I want more, by saying and agreeing that Muslim scholars are liars, this is the point. If your scholars are liars, what about the normal Muslim? If the one with the long beard, the religious one is a liar. So what about with the one who have uh, no beard? Hmm? If your leaders are a bunch of liars, which is the point. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to say something? Something, something. Is that faith freedom a sight of Christian? I don't know what is that. So there is no Muslim, no Muhammadan. Who is here for first time in our channel? If you are first time, don't forget to subscribe, and then after you subscribe and subscribe, eh, at least we can keep you busy. Like subscribe and subscribe, subscribe. That's what the Muslims do all day long. Look, the Prophet said. How to earn deeds? How to earn deed? Okay. Let me show you how to earn deeds in Islam. I like to earn deeds in Islam. Let us see. <coughs> The Messenger of Allah said, Whoever asks Allah for paradise three times, paradise will say, Oh Allah, oh Allah, admit him, please. Admit, admit him, please. This is how easy to go to paradise. Hey, Abdul, this is how easy. You ask you ask you ask Allah three times to go to paradise. And then paradise speak. Paradise speak. Why? <laughs> no screen. No screen. I don't know why this happened. I think I have a genie. Okay, read with me this hadith, brother. The Messenger of Allah said, Whoever asks Allah for paradise three times, paradise will say, Oh Allah, admit him to paradise. Oh Allah, admit him to paradise. Oh Allah, admit him to paradise. Oh Allah. Admit, sorry guys, the CD is stuck. Oh Allah, 
what is, what is that? That's it. This is how easy to go to paradise. This is how easy. Okay, I'm going to ask Allah four times. I will go where? Three times will take me to paradise. Four times will take me where? Disneyland? And why three times? Why? If you ask him twice, will not work? You must then believe in the Trinity or what? Why everything in Islam is a three time? Hmm. Any, uh, any, uh, any, uh, I'm trying to remember the name I want to say after any, but I cannot because I have to repeat it three times in order the second word to come. Any, uh, any Muslim have an answer? Now I got it. What is this? This is how you go to paradise, you ask Allah three times and that's it? Do you think if I ask Allah to pay for my internet bill, He will pay? Allah pay for my bill three times. Allah for my bill. Let me check the account. It's paid. Alhamdulillah. Allah, He paid for my electric bill, my phone, my, uh, my internet bill three times. Why three times? <sighs> huh? why you show why you don't show my profile and I have people see I am online he is lying well I showed you I called you guys did I call this Abdul did I call this Abdul okay I will call again in the front everybody everybody will laugh at you See guys, it's called it says rejected. Huh. You cannot see? Hold on. Code rejected. Let me let me re-add you. Maybe 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 something wrong. Hold on. <clears throat> we wanna have fun. Hello. It says that this guy he is using older version of Paltok. So Abdul, are we calling you or not? Hmm? Okay. Stupid idiot. A kid, you're just a kid. I mean, isn't it enough we spank you 1,000 times? And the video is all over you too. Still you want more? We made you enough famous. Can I call you? Sure you can call me if you are a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, feel free to call me. <clears throat> Anyone who's a Muslim, he want to tell us why the Prophet of Allah, he fasted the month, the, the day of Ashura. And why he replaced with Ramadan, he is welcome to call us. Anyone? <laughs> Any Abdul? Yes, please, Muslims only, because we want to hear Muslims. Why your prophet he fast uh, the month of uh, the day of Ashura, and then why he switched to Ramadan? What is the point? What's happening here? Why your prophet he says if you fast the day of Ashura is going to forgive all the sin in the year to proceed or the preceding year, and then suddenly Ramadan is not important. Ashura are not important. How you can, how you can replace a day of fasting will will proceed by will will forgive the sin of a preceding year. And why, if you fast this day, this this day will, you know, forgive the sin of preceding year. 
No, that can be true. This is, must be stupid. Because anyone now can do all the crimes and in the day of Ashura, he fails that day and his son, his sin is gone. Anyone? Obviously, this is a prophet, false prophet, who is making false promises uh, to make people, you know, fast that day because he's trying to establish a, a, a false cult, a cult. And the Christian, they have fasting. The Jews have fasting. The Sabian have fasting. They need their fasting. Hmm? Can you block Jesus as not God? He is a kid, you know, I, I feel sorry for him. If you block him, he will kill his mom. And if you tell his mom, uh, you know, his mom is so big and beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> but by the way, the prophet, he promised the Muslim man uh, uh, in heaven, he will have a big and beautiful woman. But she is so big. I mean, to have to be honest, her ass is one mile. I mean, that's, that's so big. I mean, we have to be honest here. One mile ass. Mean. I mean, Muhammad, he knew that Arab, they like big ass women. But I never thought he would exaggerate that much. I mean, this is a big fat lie. One mile. I mean, why not two miles? I mean, what you will lose if you make it 72 miles? I mean, are you paying from your pocket profit? Yeah, just one mile. What made me happy about this news, I said to myself, if I can open a business for manure, people who have farms, they can buy the manure, which my wife, she will provide. Her ass is one mile. That means she can do poo, poo a one mile manure a day, at least, if she do it only once a day. I mean, do you know how big the manure will be? We can supply like a thousand farms with manure. And we make money from shish kebab. I don't want to say the word. One mile. I mean, my wife have an ass of one mile. I mean, don't you think this is small? Why? And all the women there, they will have the same size of the ass. I think that will make it easier for, to find a lingerie for them. Ah, oh, they will be naked anyway. How you can buy an underwear for a woman she have one mile ass? And if her ass is one mile, how big her... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> change the topic, change the topic. Do we have any Abdul? And the funny, the Muslim, they say, Christian Prince, you're a liar. I mean, the, all the stories of Muhammad, they don't see any, any problem with a Christian prince. He's a liar. Christian Blins, you are a liar, brother. You are a very, very big man. Okay, I, I will show you something very... The scientists, they discover this. Yes, we, are try, we are trying to... We are changing the topic because no Muslim will answer us about Ramadan, what we can do. The prophet, he was able to discover that black dogs are devil. And there's a scientist from Japan. Let me let me tell you his name. Yama Suzuki Honda Hondai Kia Yama Yahoo Yama a Suzuki Akayama. He discovered this is a very scientist, uh, Japanese uh, 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 <coughs> scientist. He discovered, brother, that the prophet's statement about black dogs are the devil is to, to be true. Is it true? How the prophet he knew this? How, how he knew this? The black dog, what about the yellow dog? No, he is good. The black dog is bad. What about white dog? No, white dog is fine. But the black dog is the devil. I mean, how the prophet he knew that? Hmm? And actually, there is another uh, scientist. Uh, his name is Chinese. I cannot say his name to you because it's a very complicated name, a Chinese name. It's, it's His name is Thomas Jefferson, Chinese. He discovered, brother, that after studying the DNA, 
FGOO of the black dog, he found that the black dog, his DNA is different from a white dog DNA. How what, and what are different? They notice that the DNA of a black dog have two horn. I mean, this is discovery, brother. They will make an article about it. Just wait. Isn't it obvious this guy is racist? He believe everything is black is evil. Any Muslim will tell us? I asked this guy, you know, uh, uh, what his name? Farty, Farty, Farty. Uh, why the black dog is the devil? Because he said because it's the devil. Hello. Hmm. <coughs> Actually, you know, I, I don't know what to say to you. I remember when our brother, Sheikh Isper, which the, the, the European, they call him Shakespeare. But the truth, he is an Arab, and his real name is Sheikh Isper as Al-Qazafi, he said. <laughs> I, I miss this guy, Al-Qazafi. He was making a big speech. He says, brother, the Western, they stole all civilization from us. Even Shakespeare... His real name is Sheikh Isber, and he's an Arab. Even Shakespeare became Sheikh Isber. I mean, that's don't you think this is too big? <laughs> okay, Shakespeare is Sheikh Isber. This is true. I mean, look, okay. Sheikh Isber. Hmm? Yeah. And Muslims are the first one to discover America, and they are the first one to discover Australia. Uh, but they cannot find Mecca before, you know, thousand years ago. They cannot find any details of Mecca. Are we laughing and teasing? At, no, we are not laughing at any. We are seeking science, my friend. Show respect, please. Don't you see we are saying that the black dog is the devil? This is science. Don't mix between teasing and, uh, and by the way, what teasing mean? What teasing? Do you know what tease in Arabic mean? I mean, shame on you. Tease in Arabic mean but. So what do you mean teasing? Button? That's disgusting. Call it in English. Do we have any... Uh, <clears throat> first time I heard this word teasing, I was saying to myself, what's wrong with those American? How do they say that? Aren't they shy? I, I remember once... Uh, uh, they were saying the vice president of George Bush. What's his name? Oh boy. I was saying the vice president, his name is. <coughs> I'm, uh, uh, I could not like. What's wrong with this America? Unbelievable. <coughs> So if there is any Muhammad in here. Want to tell us why Prophet Muhammad he did fast uh, the month of uh, the day of Ashura? <coughs> hmm? Any any uh, Muhammadan? Uh, somebody saying to me here what? Muhammad did not mean that the sperm come from the backbone. He meant DNA from the backbone. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that, that's that beat me here. I think guys here we are we have a we have a like competition. This that's he, he did beat the Christian Prince with this uh, comment. Uh, Libyan beloved, Muhammad did not mean that the sperm comes from the backbone. <laughs> he meant the DNA. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable you must be my cousin unbelievable like you, are, you have the same blood the same blood obvious like you know we have you have the same thinking <laughs> that's very good one we are fired <clears throat> so what is the what is the Mohammedan what we will do now huh uh, since it's a significant day, okay. Why it's significant day? <laughs> I mean, look at the answer, guys. Uh, uh, look at the answer. This is an answer, supposedly. Look, look, read the answer with me. I try not to laugh. 
Rasulullah, PPBUH said, fast on the day of Ashura, since it is such a significant day, the Prophet observed. But why? <laughs> why it's such a significant day? <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable i'm gaining weight from laughing brother unbelievable so you squeeze your head you came after two hours to tell us it's significant day this is the question why is significant day abdul hello hello oh mommy oh mommy mommy blue oh mommy blue oh mommy that is a significant intelligence, my friend. I mean, your IQ is beyond the reach of mankind. You must be God. <clears throat> Islam says the believers are granted heaven. <laughs> Not as I know. <laughs> the only thing they are granted, they will go to hell, according to the Quran. وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرِدُوَا The Quran says that, not me. وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا Not a single of you, one of you, but he will enter it. Huh. And the Muslim, they try to hide the translation, depend on the translator. Look at this guy, he says, he will pass over hell. It doesn't say he will pass over hell. It says he will enter hell. Uh, hold on, let us let us show you the interpretation just to show you how they try to lie in the translation. <clears throat> Give me a second. <sighs> a tafsir website is not opening. Why? There is something wrong with it. Yeah, something wrong with the website. I click at the link, it's not open. Let us start trying. Ltfcr.com. All right. 1971. <clears throat> Don't forget, if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, you can get my books from Amazon. Amazon Germany, Amazon, Amazon Mexico, Amazon, we have it in many languages. And soon, actually, we will have six and Allah published in German language. All right? We have in Dutch, we have a Swedish, we have a Spanish, French, German, English. Tafsir Jalalain, chapter 19, verse number 71. There is not one of you but shall come to it that is but shall enter hell do you see it guys indonesian there's some people say they are translating but i don't i don't have anything yet do you see it guys does it say that every one of them will enter hell so muhammad did not really Islam is a very confusing cult. Any Muhammadan? We have 657 like. That's it. I am not popular. I'm thinking to jump from the top of the high mountain like Prophet Muhammad. But the problem, there's no high mountain close to me. Where I would go? Should I climb the chimney? I want to do walk the steps of the Prophet when he tried to commit suicide. The hadith of Sahih al Bukhari, brother, says the following, brother, that the Prophet when he uh, got so depressed because the inspiration stopped coming he tried 
The divine inspiration was also posed after the death of Waraka. And for a while, and the prophet becomes so sad. Like every day, the prophet is singing, Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy, blue, Quran, blue. Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, where are you? Where are you? For sure, he's singing for Jibreel. Jibreel is not coming no more. Oh, mommy. So Muhammad became so desperate. And imagine you hear the song all day long. You will commit suicide anyway. So the prophet, he uh, became so sad, so sad. And you know, remember when prophet becomes so sad, it's different from normal people come sad. I mean, this is very dangerous. So he becomes so sad. And how we have heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. Oh boy. Is that true, Muslims? What kind of a prophet he tried to kill himself many times? And not only that, each time the prophet he climbed all the way to the high mountain. Hold on, I want to do that in the many of you are slow. You're not smart like us. We are Arab. I feel sorry for you people. All of you, with no exception. Hold on. I will, uh, I will explain to you what's happening here. I really, really feel sorry for you. All right. <sighs> now I'm going to explain to you the situation. And the situation is very complicated. All right, do you see the mountain now? You see the mountain, right? Okay. I will try to explain to you because most of you are not like us, we are, you are slow. So I will explain to you, uh, try to explain to you because as I said, you are really uh, very slow. Here, the prophet was here. Let us make it uh, in uh, this color here. Prophet here, he live in Mecca here. Here, okay. And he now he is very sad. The prophet he started climbing the mountain in the purpose of committing suicide. So he climbed, he climbed, he climbed, he climbed, he climbed, he climbed, and he take a break. And you know, like he, it's, it's very hard. It's very high mountain. He climbed, he climbed. Like second day, he take a break. He make camping. You see those guys? They make video on YouTube. He, the prophet he can do that. You know, open the camera and like tell you how to make a hammock and uh, how to light the fire and. You know, and then uh, the prophet he climbed, he climbed, he climbed, and then here he climbed. But now he getting getting really harder because he have to have go to the top of the mountain. The prophet will not accept to jump from a little uh, hill. It have to be very high. He climbed, he climbed. Here they're very dangerous here, by the way. I asked me because I used to go in the top of the Himalaya every two days. Uh, uh, but in my time, the Himalaya was not so high like now. <laughs> I mean, it was organic, organic. But now they are giving it like a. Uh, vitamin and uh, like many uh, stuff and it's growing very fast Indian uh, doing that uh, and uh, so he climbed the prophet climb climb and then he climbed and now the prophet almost there and now the prophet in the top and let us zoom in here because here here the story is like getting hot uh, we will zoom in so now the prophet is in the top of the high mountain okay and now suddenly the angel Jibreel may Allah bless him he appeared in the sky. This is Jibreel. What is that? Hold on. This is Jibreel. This is his, uh, 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 like, a, a 600 wings. You know, this is Jibreel. This is his head. This is the wings of Jibreel. Zibril appear in front of the Prophet. The Prophet is here, in the top of the mountain, here, like here. This is the Prophet. The Prophet now, he want to uh, zump. And then Zibril, he hold him from his pant and he say, Prophet, don't do that, uh, for you are truly, truly a Prophet of Allah. And then the Prophet, 
uh, he cool down and then he sends his mind but the problem here now he have to come back all the way so let's go back so the prophet now the journey start again I mean how horrible this to do every few days I mean this is really something so the prophet now he have to go all the way down like this brother he was here in the top brother and now he have to go down by the way going down is harder than going up in case you do not know in case you climb mountains before especially like you know it's really high so now the prophet he have to come down he come down take him three days three days four days five days ten days after a month you know like oh hey, he's home here huh here is home okay so now the prophet is home and then after a few days the prophet he decided to commit suicide again he go and he do the same thing again he climb here brother here 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 and he arrive here any muslim can tell me what's happening who is the crazy here the hadith says that the prophet intended to do that several times why and each time he tried to do it, the, the angel, he says to him, uh, trust me, believe me, you are a prophet of Allah. If you are a prophet himself, don't believe he's a prophet. How I can believe in him? Correct, guys? This hadith is saying that Muhammad himself, he don't believe that he's a prophet. Uh, it says that in front of you. What make him calm down? What make him calm down? He says to him, oh, Muhammad, read me carefully. I forgot most of you are illiterate like the prophet because illiterate right these days is the best way to get a job I mean if you know how to read how to write nobody will hire you just wear short skirt go in a TV show of reality and have uh, some kisses and your boobs is coming out you will get the best salary look at this now he intended many many time in order to throw himself from the top of mountain and then Jibreel would appear uh, uh, before him and say oh Muhammad you are indeed Allah Messenger. Then what? Then Jibreel, you know, after he says that, Muhammad, he will cool down and go home. Like, what the heck? And then Muhammad, second day, he returned again to, to, to do that. I mean, is that, a, is that a hide and seek? Either your prophet is have a mental illness. I mean, obviously, this is a mental illness. The guy, the angel, he appeared in front of you. And he said to you, oh, Muhammad. And you do it again. Why? Any Muslim? What Muhammad is suffering from? What? Huh? Who's a... <sighs> Hello? Do you think, guys, if I try to commit suicide, Zabriel will come and say to me, ZB, ZB, you are truly, truly a messenger of Allah. And then I will come down, I go home, open my room, and uh, my chat in YouTube. That's, that's deep. I mean, there's no question that the prophet is a prophet. That's so good to be true. Any Muhammadan? Say it in Israeli accent. No, Israeli don't have accent. Go and watch Netanyahu. He speaks perfect English. But you want to hear Israeli accent, go to Musa's. When Musa's, he saw Muhammad when he was coming from the 7 11 heaven. Musa said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi. What Allah told you, Khabibi? Uh, he uh, enjoyed me to uh, pray 50 times. Musa said to Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, how you can Khabibi pray 50 times, brother? Khabibi, you can't pray 50 times. Khabibi, go, go back to Allah, and, uh, Khabibi. 50 prayer, and the one who saved you Muslims from the 50 prayer, he made it you, made it for you, five is a Jew? <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's, let's find the hadith. Mm.
Of <clears throat> oh. let's see. Here we go. The story here. The story about Zabriel. Look, look, look here. Here yeah, the story getting this. You can if you. I, I wish I have money. I will make a movie. Very nice movie. Okay, uh, uh, read with me here, uh, brother. It says, <clears throat> uh, and when it was uh, covered by the command of Allah, it underwent such a the change, none among his creation. Allah revealed to me a revelation, and He made a obligatory for me a fifty prayer every day. And night and night too then he went down to Moses Moses says to him Khabibi Khabibi Muhammad what your Allah said to you Khabibi what he enjoyed your Ummah Khabibi he said Muhammad he gave me 50 prayer Muhammad you have no idea that this is horrible Moses he's a Jew you know they are good very uh, very good in calculation and numbers he said Khabibi Habibi, return to Allah, Habibi, and beg him for reduction. I mean, the Jews always, they are good in bargain. Reduction? Is that a discount? Allah gave the guy 50 prayer. You go to Allah and ask him for reduction? What is that? Only in Islam. Huh? Do you see it? And then Muhammad, he went to Allah, and he asked for reduction. And uh, Musa, he explained to the Arab uh, guy like me, Muhammad, uh, because, you know, we are not good in mathematics. Uh, he says, your community shall not be able to bear this burden. Mean. Musa, he knew Allah do not know and Muhammad do not know. And then uh, he said to him, I tried this with the children of Israel, did not work. Go back to Allah. <laughs> Allah, He gave the Jews 50 prayer a day. <laughs> so I went back to, to Allah. And my Lord, make things lighter for my nation. Allah reduced the prayer for me. I went down to Musa and said, Allah, hey, Musa, Musa, Allah reduced it. Five. By the way, the story is not like this here, like they are making it short. The story is he go up he go down he go up he go down he go up he go down until 50 40 30 etc until the 50 became five is that true muslims who of you muslims believe in this story to be true <clears throat> Anyone? Had Hana yet a kalam Arabi? Laysa Hunaka a hadun fi had al Makan yet a kalam will look at al Arabia yahada. Absharia huffs. Do we have any? Uh, uh, this guy he he's asking if there's anyone speak Arabic, so I was telling him. Nobody speak Arabic, including me. Any uh, Muslim? <clears throat> oh boy. So, you know, like uh, all this time now we are waiting for a Muhammad and nobody. Uh, business card design a business card you remind me of the hadith where Allah he sent every Friday an angel to your door anyone remember the, the story hmm
every Friday, an angel will come from one door in your house. This is the door for angel. And the angel in his car, he look at the door. You say, who's this? I say to you, I'm an angel. Open the door. I have Warren. Uh, we open the door and the angel will give you a card from Allah. Every Friday. And the card is to invite you to come to Allah singing party. Anyone remember the singing party? Who remember it? How many of you are, you know, you are, uh, you guys are not having a good memory. CP is not really good in English. I am not good in English, not good in Arabic. I, you know, I applied for a job in Japan and as a, as a professor to teach Japanese and the stupid Japanese, they asked me, uh, do you know Japanese? I said, no. I mean, why you need to need Japanese to teach Japanese? What's wrong with you? I mean, those are people weird. Here we go, the prophet, he don't write, he don't read. He was teaching us Arabic. Like, hello. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so every Friday, an angel will come to you and he will have a card in his hand. And in this, actually, if you wanna, if you wanna laugh, hold on, let me let me find you the the video. There's a video made by the Dean Show. It's called the Description of Paradise. I wish I can play it, but I, I good I cannot play it actually, because if I play it, you guys you might have heart attack from laughing. Uh, we will search the description of paradise. Dean show. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, this is the way this is the video. If you want to die laughing, watch it. Watch it. The description of paradise, Doctor Ibrahim Dermelli. He will say to you, brother. In your house, there is four doors. One door, you enter your 80,000 servant. And the other guy, he says to him, 80,000. He said, 80,000 servant. And one door for you and your wives. And one door, an angel will come to you every Friday. And he will knock at your door. You open the door. He give you a card. He says to you, my servant, I miss you. Come and visit me. Guys, do you remember it? And then they go. I'm not joking, by the way. This is what the video is saying. You can go watch it. I'm, do you guys think I'm joking? What's wrong with you? Don't make. Don't force me to get upset and ask Allah to curse you. I know a guy. Honestly, I cursed him that may Allah make him look like me. He woke up in the morning. He looked like me. He could not take it. He commit suicide. Don't 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 make me do that. I mean that's that's it. This is the limit. I mean you make me angry. I ask Allah to curse you, make you look like me, and then that's it. You are gone. You are finito. You are like hummus. No woman will marry you. Nobody will say hello to you. And no, that's it. It's over. It's history. So, brother, the descriptions of paradise, a video you don't want to miss. Don't miss. <coughs> hmm. And then we go to the party of singing and every Muslim have a chair and his name on it. I wish really I can play the video for you. But I play it. If I play it, I have to take this video down after two seconds. The second I finish because they, they will claim copyright over it. <laughs> Guys, every Muslim, he will have his name on it. Now, the Muslim, they say we are 1.4 and, you know, they fabricate numbers about their number. So imagine if every Muslim have to find his chair. I mean, by the time you find your chair, it's going to be eternity. Every Muslim have his name in the chair. Look how organized it is. And then in the stage, there's a three singers. Who is the first singer? Who remember? Who remember? Anyone remember? 
Nobody remember? Nobody? The first singer is a prophet David. He will sing that psalm. David, he took the mic. He, the, uh, I'm on, Rabbi, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. You know, like, you know, David. And then Allah will ask the Muhammadan, have you ever heard better than this? And the Muhammadan, they say, oh, Allah, no way. Allah, no way. <laughs> Allah, we never heard like this before. We spare by Allah. And then the microphone will be given to who? Who is the second, is the second uh, singer? Anyone remember? Who is the second singer after David? Muhammad. And now Muhammad, he take the microphone and he starts singing. Uh, la, 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 la. Mm -hmm. It's me you're looking for. Or maybe he was singing a different song fit with his uh, the, the character of the prophet <clears throat> uh, 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 what this song I do not know songs like uh, uh, a little bit of Jessica or oh Jessica a little bit of Monica or oh Monica a little bit of Robica or oh, this is a thing of Muhammad so Muhammad he was saying something fit with him like you know the guy is like he's a womanizer so a little bit of Monica a oh Monica a little bit of Jessica or oh Jessica a little bit of Razika and then Allah will ask you have you ever heard better than this the Muslim they will say no no don't even try we never and then the third singer is who? Hmm? Who is the, uh, the third singer? Allah. And Allah, he start singing. And here is the disaster. He chapter, he read the chapter of al al Rahman. And the guy in the video, this guy, look, look at his face, look at his face. He said to you, imagine, Imagine Ar Rahman is reading the chapter of Ar Rahman, and the other guy, his mouth is open, and there's a booger in his nose. Ah, Ar Rahman reading the chapter of Ar Rahman and singing it. And then Allah will ask you a question Have you ever heard better than this? And now, who dare to say no? I mean, this is Allah supposedly. And that we repeat it every Friday. And look here, I was stupid the story. If last Friday you heard David and Allah asked you, have you ever heard better than this? And you said no. And then you heard Muhammad, which means Muhammad is better. And he sang and he said, he said, have you ever heard better than this? You said no. And then he sang himself and he asked you, have you ever heard better than this? And you said no. So how second week you say the same? You just heard better this last week. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Yeah, this is the it's called Islamic Islamic idols. Even the program, this American idol is taken from Allah Hadith. Is that true, Muslims, or are making things up? anyway okay guys i think we have uh we have enough for today i'm not going to keep this video actually uh are we guys having did you have a good time did you have a good time be honest with me if you have a good time ask yourself why why is it right to have a good time these days look at the news brother the wife of the prince in england she gave birth they give us headache with this news. I mean, the whole world is collapsing. People are eating each other. And they are busy. Uh, oh, boy. I didn't know what to say. What is missing to say to us that the prince, the, the new Bernie prince, uh, he did fart. And now they are changing his diet. But look how silly people are. I mean, they, this is the news. This is the news. Hmm. 
This is how the media, they control your mind with silly, stupid stuff. People are dying. People are being killed. Go and see what's happening in Africa. Go and see what's happening in many countries. And those idiots, they are wasting our time with the stupid things. The prince, the, 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 the wife of uh, the prince, she broke the protocol and she opened the car door by herself. I mean, do you believe it? I mean, how this happened? It's a disaster. Well, shut them down. Don't watch them. Shut them down. Anyway, guys, I think we have uh, we have enough for today. I hope uh, you guys download the video after I finish because I'm not going to keep it. All right, I don't. I always uh, delete my videos. You know, I do things like Allah. I make verses and I abrogate them, and then I will cause you to forget about them. Have you ever heard of God? He do that. Yes, there's two gods. They do that. Allah and Muhammad. So I will make a video, brother, and then I change my mind. I cause you to forget the, the, the video. Forget it. That's it. There we go. Have you ever heard of this? That's so good to be true. And you are telling me why I'm deleting my videos. I learn from Allah. I say something. I cause you to forget it. Hello. That's very nice, a very smart idea. You know? None of our revelation, none of our revelation do abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Hey, Muslims, why Allah is causing you to forget the revelation? I thought the revelation is reserved. Don't you say to us it's reserved in our heart? Is Allah causing you to forget the. Okay. Uh, Barissa Bazi, can you call me? Why I want to call you, my friend? You are not even a Muslim, are you? Why I want to call you? Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. I hope you have a good time. Download the video immediately because I'm not going to keep it, maybe for an hour or two, and uh, share it around. And uh, I hope that those who they are listening, I'm not laughing because this is funny, but because it's stupid. And it's the, the sad about it. There's millions of people that are willing to die for this stupidity. War. I mean, look what's happening in Israel. It's because of this book. Islam is the biggest problem the earth is facing. And nobody want to speak about it. Everybody is ignoring the biggest problem. They're trying to convince you that the biggest problem we have is a global warming. We'll just wait until the terrorism warming take over all. Actually, it's already taken over all the world. Global warming is the problem. Just wait. Just wait. The disaster is coming and nobody want to talk about it. A bunch of perfectly correct people. They have no dignity. They have no honor. And all of them, they don't want to address such a dangerous problem because it is dangerous and if somebody address it they call him all kind of names this is the biggest problem we have in this earth and by the way even a global warming is explained by the prophet of allah perfectly according to the prophet shaitan he fought each time the muslims he pray and in case you do not know, farting is a methanol. And it's the biggest cause of a global warming, according to studies. So if there is a 1.4 billion Muslims, they pray five times a day. And shaitan, he fought at least five times for every person with a lot of gas in order to cover the sound of Allahu Akbar. You cannot imagine how much global warming we are suffering because of Islam. Even a global warming is coming from Islam idea. Can't Allah block the anus of the shaitan? I mean, what's wrong with this Allah? Don't you know about the global warming? Shaitan, he covered the sound of Allah prayer by farting.
So we pray, we all we say Allah Shaitan he fought, hey Shaitan, stop. Allah stop Shaitan. The smell is so disgusting, man. How come we don't even smell it? Is that invisible uh, part? Anyway, let it go. Let it go. By the way, this is very wise. I mean, to say so, Muhammad, you have a very special skills. He can see things and smell things nobody can smell. Shaitan, he fought when you pray. You pray, Shaitan fought. Shaitan fought, you pray. Connection. Endless. All right. I will leave you with the Shaitan uh, farting so you can enjoy the rest of your day and you can feel better about yourself. If your wife, she said to you, you smell bad, <laughs> tell her, <laughs> that's Shaitan. Show her this hadith and she will never open her mouth again. This is the best way, especially if your mother-in-law is complaining. Brother, use the weapon of Allah. Here we go. It's in front of you. Thank you guys for being here. And again, for those who like to learn more about the cult of Islam, don't forget to read my books from Amazon. We have in many languages. And we have actually the last book, which is in Spanish, in case you don't have it. Uh, feel free to, to get this book for those who speak Spanish. And we have in French, we have in German, uh, uh, for sure in English. And we appreciate your support because by having those books, you support our mission and what we do and what we do is extremely important thank you very much christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again have a happy sunday or oh, monday sorry thank you take care